initially I hadn't come across the course that I am actually pursuing. I was coming across the very generic fashion design, fashion styling or maybe you know visual com- com- communication and all of that. These were courses that were very basic and was also provided by every other college in India. Also like I wasn't very sure that I wanted to study in India because as I said my dad was also in the same industry so he also like my first you know my the first discussion that I had with my dad about the you know pursuing this was like you know just let me go out there let me figure it out on my own if needed I'll come to you for help but for now let me decide what I want to do and how I want to go ahead with it so I was looking around and my initial thoughts were that I wanted to study in India so I was looking around for colleges outside which were also fine it was some 25 to 30 lakhs per year and uh, you know like also like choosing the correct um, subject I'm sorry, I think we lost you in the middle. I think some internet connection. Could you, could you just say that again? It's fine now, the connection. Yes, yes, it's fine now. It just goes up and down a little uh, bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, give me a second, maybe I'll... Yeah, is it fine now? Yes, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, I was looking at colleges outside initially. I had also joined a coaching center. It was mainly for design aptitude tests. So right. when I was actually, I joined it in when I was in 11th grade. And when I was preparing for all of these aptitude tests, it based, it involved a lot of maths and GK and English, and I, which I was okay with. That's how every other aptitude test goes about. But other than that, it included a lot of creative aspect also. like in the field, like you know drawing and everything which I suck at I can't draw for anything like I really can't so when I was like struggling with it it just used to hit me a lot like you know why am I doing this to get into a college where I have to study something completely other than this because that's that was my idea initially but when it came to fashion my dad was just like what's better than NIFT like you know again the old school mind because he's in the same industry and he knew about it so he was like your, your main focus should be NID or NIFT and I was and I was just listening to him and I was struggling with it but I was doing it I was like you know what it's okay it's fine like there'll be one point where I can do it but I started looking at international colleges I spoke to a few people there also but nothing really hit me and that's where I was just like you know maybe this is not for me if this is what it's going to take to get into a college I can't do it right. and I started getting a little skeptical about my whole decision uh-huh. but then um, uh, I spoke to my the you know my sir at the coaching center and he helped me a lot with it actually he was just like okay I understand your point but you know maybe this is something that you know just gives the colleges a basic idea of your creativity they're not going to judge you by your skills at drawing and everything but as soon as I gave my first set of exams I cleared my first round for NIFT but uh, the second round was again uh, it was a situation test actually where you would be given a lot of different articles and you'd be given a situation on point like you know you have three straws and four clay molds or whatever and you have to make this out of it and I was again just very gone very zoned out in the whole process like I just can't do all of this so um, it was a little challenging but I did try and do that but at the same time I wasn't like that's when I made my mind that I don't want to go to NIF because if after joining the college also I'm going to be spending years and years doing this then what's the point I don't want to do it just for the thappa of the college that oh you're a NIF graduate but you haven't learned anything and I'm a person who would rather prefer going towards some you know practical work than just studying and doing theories for like long long hours so I, I, that's when I made my mind that I don't want to do NIF because okay. I do know a lot of people who have graduated from NIF and when I look at my own sister is a graduate from NIF actually okay. so when I look at her how much she struggled with you know just the basic understanding of the actual practical work in the industry was shocking because if you think of it like NIFT is such an esteemed college now but like talking to all these people from NIFT it's just the stamp that's left it's just the name that's it nothing more to it like I don't want to 
discourage anyone who wants to go to NIFT. Of course, like it's a dream college to a lot of people. It's each to their own. Like I honestly, personally, did not prefer going to such a you know college. I think it, uh, so I that's think when it, I started looking around. I think it might also have to do with you being clear about what you wanted to pursue fashion for. Yeah. Right? I think that initial clarity meant that you were at loggerheads because. I mean, exactly, and I think for my industry especially, you have to know what you want to do. Just saying that I want to get into fashion designing or I wanted to get into you know visual communication won't be enough. Like mm-hmm. you have to understand the whole idea after being a fashion designer. What do you want to do? Because mm-hmm. if I just thought I wanted to study fashion, I think I'd be studying in NIF right now. Mm-hmm. But the journey for me in the long run won't be that clear.